Hello everyone, welcome to another fantastic video, where I will be sharing with you how to use ChatGPT AI in After Effects, which will be a game changer in your future animations. In this video, we shall be creating this bounce effect with the help of ChatGPT. So let's dive into the video. As usual, let's create a new composition and name it ChatGPT Test. Make the resolution 1920 by 1080 and the duration to 5 seconds. Using the ellipse tool create a circle. Place the anchor point in the center of the circle and align the circle to the center of the composition. Press P to open position. Move the playhead to about 1 second and place a keyframe. Head over back to the start of the timeline and change the position of the circle just above the composition. As you can see, this is just a basic animation with no appealing effect. Now let's add the bouncing effect. Open ChatGPT. Note, you may be asked to log in. Here we shall engage the ChatGPT tool to write us a piece of expression that we shall use in After Effects. In the chat box, type, write me an after effect expression for a bouncing effect. This amazing AI tool will generate a piece of code instantly. The interesting part is that you will also get a guide on how to use this code in your after effects project. Copy the piece of code and head back to after effects. Hold alt and click on the position stopwatch to open the expression editor. Expand the expression editor and paste the piece of code that you just copied. You can adjust the different parameters to fit your animation goal. Mine I will change the decay to 5 and the amplitude to 0.2. Now let's take a look at the bounce effect. In my case it is OK. Let's now take it further and create something more interesting by creating a bounce in and bounce out effect. Trim the length of the composition to 3 seconds. Press N, right click and trim comp to work. Let's create a new solid and name it BG. Also, pre-compose the shape layer and the BG layer and name the composition main. Right click on the main composition and enable time remapping. Go a few frames after 2 seconds and add a keyframe. Also add a keyframe a few frames after this. Double click on the last keyframe at the end of the composition and reset the time to 0. Now when we play the sequence, we have a bounce in and bounce out effect. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, stay safe. See you in the next one.